This is a video on how to make the top part of our Beyblade using a software that's a little bit better than Tinkercad. Uh, so this is the part that we're making, be we're making right here, uh, this top piece right there. We're gonna make it look a little bit different, but here's our basic Beyblade part that we're making. Uh, it works with the Beyblade, uh, Beyblade Burst Pro series launchers, uh, specifically the left-handed launchers are what we're meant to use for these. All right, let's get started. So uh, right there, we just saw actually Fusion 360, which I prefer to use, but uh, since we have our school computers, we're gonna use Onshape. So you type in Onshape, you get an Onshape right here. All right, and then you can get to a free trial. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, or not a free trial, but just a free account. Um, so you have to click on sign up, but uh, once you click on sign up, oh, there it is, student educators, get Onshape for education. So you can sign up there using your student account. And then you should be able to sign in and you get something that looks like this. Okay, so once you've gotten to this page, we're gonna go and click create in the upper left-hand corner and then document. And let's call this Beyblade, uh, we'll say version, uh, let's make it more fun. We'll say Mark 1, Beyblade Mark 1. All right, now you're gonna get to a sketching um, document to get it started. So we're gonna design this thing in two dimensions and then we'll extrude it into a third dimension. So a little bit different than Tinkercad, uh, but this is an engineering level software. So if we can draw things in two dimensions first, then we can get a little bit more control over the final shape and not have to worry about you know, colliding objects and making holes, um, so certain objects, holes, etc. This is definitely a little bit more useful. All right, so go ahead and click on this top plane right here, highlight it, and then we're gonna press, press top on this cube up there. All right, then we're gonna click on sketch. Okay, we'll click on this, it looks like top plane's already been selected for us, excellent. And then we're gonna click on circle right here. Okay, and we're gonna do a couple of different circles. Uh, so go ahead and just drag, we're gonna click twice, two circles out overall. Then we're gonna give it some dimensions, so press D on the keyboard. And then we're going to give this a dimension of 40.5, and then you have to type in millimeters, mm. Okay, and then the second one, we're going to give it a dimension of 50 millimeters. All right, very good. So this is the size of our Beyblade overall. We want to make some more unique shapes, so we're going to go ahead and use uh, this line shape. But why don't we get some inspiration? Let's type in Beyblade, uh, and we'll just Google search some images very quickly. Okay. Let's take a look. So we got some complete circle ones. Uh, it's not so interesting. Let's see, something. Okay, how about this one right here? Uh, it looks like a little bit of a shield, something like that. We can go for a shape like that. All right, so uh, in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and start by clicking on the line button up here. We'll draw a line outwards from the center. Okay, uh, then you press escape on your keyboard. All right, after we've done that, we'll click on another line. We'll bring it up like this and then we'll bring one over. Okay, we'll press escape. Then we press line again. We're just getting any sort of shape that we want to surround our uh, Beyblade. But notice I'm only drawing one half of it. Uh, this is on purpose so that we can just mirror the shape overall. So I'm gonna go to mirror. Let's go ahead and find that. Let's see, mirror right here. Okay, uh, we're gonna select on the center line to act as a mirror. And then we're gonna select on each of these individual lines that we want to bring across the center line. And then we can press enter. Okay, all right, now that we've mirrored it, we have a couple of great shapes. Uh, I think we can make these a little bit more interesting. So why don't we put like maybe a groove, like a slot right here, um, and then we'll tighten these shapes up a tiny bit. If we look at our Beyblade over here, it looks kind of like a, a sword and a shield. Um, so in order to do that, well, our center is gonna be cut out. So we could maybe make a point that comes down like this, something like that. We'll use the mirror tool again, click on that, click on mirror, um, oh, let's see, click on that, click on the center line, click on the object one mirror, let me click on mirror again to close it. Okay. And let's go ahead and we'll do a little bit of a cutout. So we'll try the three point arc tool. And let's see if we can do an interesting cutout like this. Okay, we'll use the mirror tool again. We're gonna click on this line to mirror about. Then we're gonna click on our arc shape. Perfect. Click on the mirror tool again. All right, and then let's try, let's see if we can find an offset. Okay, offset right here. Then we're gonna click on these two guys again. We're gonna drag this arrow inwards instead. All right, and so basically we're just gonna you know, play with it a little bit, uh, get a shape that we find to be you know, just sort of interesting looking overall. Um, and that will, you know, it's more of an artistic thing at this point. All right, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Mirror, use this center line, click on that arc I just made, press the mirror again. Okay, that might end up looking not so great, but uh, we'll stick with it for now. All right, we'll click on mirror one more time. We're just gonna click on the center line right here. And then all of these little lines that we created because we wanna put it on the other side as well. All right, we'll say that's good enough for our basic sketch. We'll see what it looks like uh, when we extrude it. Okay, so we press the green button on the sketch. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on extrude right here. All right, we're gonna click on all of our surfaces except for the very center one and these grooves we wanna cut out. 
and we want to make this 6.5 millimeters uh, tall. Okay, and we think to ourselves again, you know, what exactly, and we can click on this cube to rotate and see exactly what this is going to look like. Okay, let's see if we can rotate it a little bit. All right, I think that looks pretty good, 6.5 millimeters. All right, we'll press OK. See it from the front, see it from the top. Okay, and again, what is this meant to be? This is meant to be this blue part up here. Um, it's just gonna fit on top of the Beyblade. All right, but uh, the basic method is the same. You just start with that inner circle, uh, make sure that we have our outer circle 50 millimeters, so we have sort of a minimum thickness here. We've gone way beyond that, uh, but that's the overall mechanism. All right, let's clean this thing up so it looks a little bit more interesting. Uh, we're gonna click on fill it right here, and then let's rotate this guy, and we're gonna click on the corners. So this one right here, this one, this one down here. Uh, let's see, oh, not that one. right there okay we'll drag these inwards we can see it's curving our shape overall all right we'll press okay I'm holding down the right button on our mouse we're gonna do fill it again we'll make this click on this one this guy right here this guy right here let's do a slightly smaller fillet okay very good so we have a fairly interesting shape here not too bad uh, to make it maybe even more interesting, we could do another sketch on top of here. I'm going to turn off some of these planes so it's a little bit easier to see. All right, so let's see. We're going to do another sketch, one final sketch. We're going to click on this top surface right here. Now it's going to draw on top of the piece we just made. I'm going to click on circle. I'm going to make this 50 millimeters. I'm going to press escape, press D on the keyboard to get our sketch tool, our dimension tool, which you could click on up here as well. I'm going to make this 50 millimeters. Enter. Okay. Then basically I'm using that line to know where I can draw outside of. Oops, exited that sketch, okay? And I think that it might be interesting to maybe add uh, maybe just a bunch of circles around and then we'll extrude them upwards. So circle there, we'll add a circle, how about a circle there? We'll put a center line so we can mirror things. Maybe they'll make it a little bit nicer looking. All right, we'll put a circle somewhere over here and I think we'll call that good, okay? We'll use the mirror tool, select this as our mirror line we select on our objects we want to mirror, then we click on the mirror tool again. All right, then we're going to press exit sketch. We're going to go to extrude in the upper left, click on the circles we just made. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, I'm going to rotate a little bit. Ooh, that is way too tall. We don't want this to be one inch. I'm thinking this should be two millimeters tall. Okay, so tiny little circles that came upwards just to give it a tiny bit more of an interesting look. Uh, but that's the basic method to use a more complex CAD software than just Tinkercad. Okay, and you know, play around with it. You can sketch whatever shape you want. Once you've gotten this part, I'd be you know happy to help you uh, 3D print it. You can go to, uh, let's see, down here. You right click, all right. So on part number one in the bottom here, then go to export. All right, this was our Beyblade Mark One. All right, format we want .stl. All right, our units we had in. They should be in meters by default. We're gonna press OK to download. All right, once you've downloaded it, then just upload this file to Microsoft Teams and I'll 3D print for you. All right, that's it. Good job, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time for our Beyblade tournament. All right, bye, guys.